Wheelers, let me start off by saying I am not a plumber, not by no means. There's a whole bunch of water. Hey fellas, PV2 Smurf here. Two Smurf, PV2 Smurf here. PV2 Smurf here. Oh fellas, PV2 Smurf here. But can I educate myself and learn how to do this on my budget instead of paying two, three, four thousand dollars to have somebody replumb my house? Yes, I can. If that's what you tuned in for, well, I got you back. Hopefully, you learned something on this. I'm not going to go on with the like and subscribe stuff. If y'all are here, y'all already subscribed. If not, it's your first time to the channel. I don't do a lot of plumbing, any of that kind of sort. Sorry, it's such a bummer. Uh, it's just not my forte. My forte is mechanics and tinkering with things. So you may find something else that interesting you might look at. But either which way, let's get into it, fellas. Oh, fellas, people too smurf here. Today, we're going to be installing a Viega man block. If you don't know what that is. We'll walk you right through it. Um, we're locating a garage that I pre showed you on a previous upload. Uh, the issue is the house has old galvanized lines. Uh, I went ahead and replaced one line, which was the main one, which has to do with consumption, which is the kitchen. Uh, I will have video clips of that and some of the install. Um, mainly, I want to go with one of these because you see a lot of these put online, but you don't really see anything specific with this. I did purchase off Amazon. I'll link it right over here. Show you an image of it. Put a link below. Um, the unit specifically that I ordered is part number 560660. Um, I bought this specific one uh, instead of running. I don't like the branch and run or trunk and run, I guess, uh, system. Uh, mainly because there's a lot of feedings and crimp connections and things. We're using PEX in case you haven't uh, figured it out yet. We're using PEX B, which crimps. Uh, I don't like tr trunk and run or branch and run systems because when they're in crawl spaces and places like that, there's crimps. You got to crimp those. Not that it's that much of a hassle to crimp it. But the biggest thing to me was that's the potential for a leak. Less crimp places, the better. So I went with this system. This runs a dedicated line, kind of like an electricity when you're on a home run that goes straight from the breaker box to an outlet. Well, this runs straight from here to straight to the fixture. So there's only two crimp connections, one here, one under the fixture. I don't have to worry about them leaking in the wall anywhere or anything. Though, one of the cons of this system is you are gonna run into more pipe cost when you run your, your pegs. Uh, but I'm all right with that. I'll deal with that. I don't have any issues with that because peace of mind, I know, and it's not going to leak in a crawl space. I'm good with that. So that being said, here's how I installed the what you see here behind me. So now what we're going to do is secure the main block. This piece of wood here that you just see me put. Basically, uh, these are tap con screws. I drilled them out, put them in as specified on the packaging. All I did was center this piece right here up. So that way it'll be centered with my line drawn up and I'll back the camera out and show you that in just a second. And so me being able to put this here allows me to bring lines in both sides up here. I'm back out you'll see uh, both sides and it also gives me a good mounting surface to mount this to. And if you want to know why it looks this funky green color, it's part of the garage. I bought the house was a shelf in here and this is good plywood and I figured well I'll just reuse it. That's what we do, right? Reuse scrap. So we'll put now now all the research and stuff, there's really not a whole lot to come with this this mana block when I received it. Um, as far as details, nothing on their website, even when you search for it, even when I search for the specific part number, I can't find it. Even though it's not been discontinued by the manufacturer, I can't find a lot on it. So basically uh, it says you can mount it this way, or this way, or this way, or upside down, whichever way you want. I'm gonna mount mine this way. You mount yours any way you like. The reason why I'm mounting this way is because it'll give me access both lines for one and for two. I want to make sure it's low enough to where somebody who's shorter than me can
can turn the valve on and off as well as I'm going to have a three quarter on and off valve up here. So that way in the event I have shut it all down, change out one of these seals, I can turn it off right here. I don't got to go over to where the water source actually comes in and change it. And so now all I'm doing is just kind of eyeballing from the bottom up and from the top up. Make sure it's relatively close. And I'm going to set my level on here where it's decently plumb. And I know where the center of the board is because like I said, I made a mark on it that you can't see that's right here. I'll line it up with the middle part of this right here. See this right here, it's the middle. So I can line this up with my mark I got over here on my board. There's four ears on this thing. One there, one there. You just don't see the screws, it's still on the top. Guess what? Two on the bottom, one here, one right here. tighten because it'll break these ears right here it's enough to where to hold this thing up here and keep it from moving around this specific mana block that we're installing this viega mana block is item number five six zero six six zero and as you can tell it's plumb I want to add one more thing. <clears throat> I think it's pretty crummy of Viega. You have to buy these adapters. So the main water runs in here and these orange covered ports you see here. You have to buy adapters from Viega because the thread pitch and threading is completely different than anything you'll pick up at the hardware store. So you have to buy the adapter that goes with it to adapt the water lines in. Now is that Viega's reasoning and get more money out of it? Probably, most definitely. Uh, I don't know why you can you buy one that you could buy is just the block or you could buy the block with these and just charge a little extra but not full price. But you have to buy these, these are separate. Uh, the one for my block, I will put a picture here and I'll also link it down below so that way you can see it. But these are different and these are brass fittings and they're made, the threading on is different and you'll have to have it. That's something to not forget if you order one of these. You can't go to the hardware store, you can't go to a big box store and pick up these right here. Unless they sell mana blocks and these fittings specifically, you're not going to find these. So best if you order it, order these with it. Now what I'm going to do is just take these. I'm gonna set them on here and I'm gonna run my line over to where my cold and hot water is so that way I have water running to this. Big difference by looking at it by eye, but the threads on these are different. So the way this system is designed to work, you're supposed to bring cold water into here. Once cold water comes in here, it charges this side. And this cold water runs over to the water heater plugs into the water heater cold side. Then it comes back out of the water heater hot side and runs through here. And that runs all these. Now you can buy as I've done right here, it's a block off plate. Now the block off plate I just mentioned looks like this. It's just a piece. Just a piece and it's got this cap in it. This cap has an O-ring on it as you can see right here o-ring there and it just sits inside this cap and you screw that on so assuming you're not going to use one of these ports you'll buy one of these caps and it's just like this and so instead of running two cold lines one there and then one back over it's going to run a cold line into there and then water tank to there and not even worry about the bottom from what i've seen online as i said the resource when i received this unit brand new was very limited but from what I've read online, the research I've done, you can do it this way. This plate right here, I'm gonna put it on here. Push it up in there. Push 
sure it's flush. Another thing is don't force these on this thread because plastic it specifically states on the box and right here on this cover to not use any, it says right here on it, do not do not use pipe dope or any thread sealant. So you don't put any thread sealant or pipe dope on any of this. They also say to use thread tape or pipe dope, but they were both. Well, I use both, so if you want to tape it, you go right ahead. I'm not going to tape it. Anyway, don't force this. Just start it really easy. And it should thread right on there. Just like that. See how simple it was? Just like that. Alright, and I'm just going to hand tighten it because I'm not going to use this plug. Now we just got to run the cold water line over to here and the hot water line over to here. And we got water on this. But before we do that, it's very important for you to note, and it's on the tag that's on the unit here. The tag right here specifically shows, I know you can't read this part right here, but it shows the valve's pointing up or pointing down that it's off. If the valve's pointing towards the fitting, then it's on. As you can look here, all the blue ones are facing down. All the red ones are facing up, so they're all turned off. So once water is plumbed into this unit, so once water is plumbed into this unit, I don't have to worry about water spraying out and going everywhere. That's something to take note of. It says leave this sheet attached to this T-handle. If you want to know what this T-handle is, specifically this T-handle is just for going on these right here and turn these on and off. Another benefit to having this specific system is Assume this goes to the toilet in one of the bathrooms and I got to replace the flapper in it or the flush um, thing. If I do, I can come in and take this key off, stick it in there and twist it and turn the water off to it. I can fix the toilet. Everything else in the house still has water. I don't worry about cutting the water off to anything else. Everything else still has water. 